Now with 100% more ducks. Howdy folks, Grok the Duck Farmer here. And I've got a halo here on the FTOG Avant 3 server. Yep, that's a pretty big halo, don't you think? And, and, and I think the wave is kind of funny when you're hunched over like this. It just, it just kind of looks weird. But yes, I've got a halo. And why do I have a big halo there? Because the big tree is done. Yay! So that's the end of the episode. Yay! Oh, no, okay. Uh, let me just show off a little bit of what we got done here on the tree. Doo -doo. Oh, one too many. There we go. So the I just had that last little patch that needed to be done, and that is now all done. And so the bottom part is finished. As you can see, it's got some nice uh, randomization to kind of make it so there are no straight lines. It's kind of like the Parthenon. But the it, it, it looks far more grown at this point than before, which is very good. So, yay, that is all done. And there are only a couple of the mushrooms left. Um, I was looking at the, the, the tick on the server and mushrooms came up high. And so I said, all right, let me go through the base in my various areas and kill off all the mushrooms. These guys here on the trunk I decided to keep because they're so cute looking. <laughs> but pretty much all the rest of the mushrooms I went ahead and, and uh, put them to death. Uh, sad, sad day. But uh, I, I like to keep a lot of the, the pranks and stuff that, that happen I, I don't really see the need to remove them if I can avoid to, so I wanted to keep the, the, the mushrooms at least here on the trunks because they look really good. Everyone else is gone. There's the one sitting there in the water, but uh, all the ones in top of uh, the, the stump, they're all gone. And let's go in to the, the base here real quick. And I am doing some stuff with leaves because the outside's done so it's time to do the inside and i created this player interface from random things i had the actually edition um, player interface but it had an issue every time the server would reload it would get rid of it and uh, and well not get rid of it it would lose the connection to me unless i broke it and replaced it so i went ahead and created this player interface from random things and it's working great in fact if we take a look at my inventory i've got full of leaves here and if i get rid of them that fills up again because this chest here which is full of leaves gets pumped into the player interface and the essences that are here get crafted and pumped into there so that's working out just fine and this i've been running it with the uh, the imaginary time block but uh, it's off for right now since i'm recording uh, I have a paper mattock in here with unbreakable. So it only has six durability, but who cares? It's unbreakable. So I'm going to make one more of those. I, I knew they worked as far as chopping down trees, but I wasn't sure if it would work for the plants. And it turns out it does, which is very nice. So I made one of these all out of paper, and then I applied four of these reinforcement modifiers. And this is the fifth one, which makes it go from reinforced four to unbreakable. So let's grab that. And let's zip out there to the ore. And I can come over to this one here and toss that in there so when i'm ready to turn on chopping down more trees that's unbreakable in there which is very cool now uh, you can take a look here i've got a bunch of names that i want to toss into the the hall of heads but i've got one more that i want to do Oop. and wait for everything to fully load yeah it should be good Alrighty, heading on over here to the hall of heads and that's new this is the die shop from technojock and if we take a quick look in here it has all of the dies in it which is very nice i need to help myself to these because i need to redo my sheep they uh they died in the the great entities purge of 2016 so uh, let's come into here. This tool workstation is great because you can rename things for free. And since I was going through so many things and I broke the, uh, the anvil that was here, I decided to replace it. So let's go ahead and put that one in place because I just got to 
this uh, mention today saying, hey, could you add these names? And I was thinking, well, I need to do that. So there's some names. All right, back to the base. Zoop. Alrighty, and let's go up to the Hall of Heads. Yep. Oh yes, I took one of the, the cows and took him out of here and let him run around the inside. So yeah, I'm glad to see he's still alive. All right, Hall of Heads and uh, something new. I have me some uh, dragon eggs here. Thanks to Toddy the Body, he went ahead and, and got me these. And so I will deal with those later. For right now, I need to put some heads about. And these two, I think I will go ahead and put them somewhat close because they came together. They're going to go there. And nope, put you here and you here. Where did you go? I lost a head. Did I lose a head? I don't see the head. Uh, that's not good. All right, so Lackeys goes there. With water goes there. Let's grab these others. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, yeah, let me look at my list again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, for some reason I lost a head. I will have to hunt that down and figure out who it was that I lost. Uh, but yep, getting a few more heads on here on the Hall of Heads. And so, yeah, if you haven't already, feel free to go ahead and uh, send me your in-game name and I will add you to the list. And I think with these, I need to do the torch trick because I don't think just breaking the block will get me the eggs. Did I get the egg? Oh, I didn't because I'm filling up with leaves. <laughs> All right, let's come down here. Oh, and you didn't break. Oh, you're supposed to break with the, the, the torch. Oh, but there wasn't a block underneath the torch. Okay, let's try this, let's try that, let's try this. Let's put another torch right there. And now if we break that, there we go. There we go. All right, so now I should get that. Let's see, I need some dirt. Okay, so you can go away. Dirt, dirt, grass, grass. Let's go back up there. Fly, fly. So I need some blocks underneath here. So let's put a block there. You can come to me and let's put a block. Yeah, it's right there. Okay, so let's put a block there. And break it. Nope, that's the light. Break it. Torch it. Torch it. Yep, that should work. Yay. Yay. All right, so. Oh, those torches are going away. All right, so you and you and you and you and you and light. All right, cool. So um, I was saying that the, 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 the stuff is done. Let's go up here. Nope. Let me get off here. I have started to lay some leaves on here. You can see how that top is, is much flatter because I've put a whole bunch of leaves there, which is why I've, I'm pumping the leaves to myself. And I've started to do that a little bit on the sides. I, I ran out and so there's a lot of leaves that haven't filled out here and the reason why I'm doing this is I, I love running my graphics in fast mode so that the leaves are not transparent but if I change that let's go to fancy you can see through the leaves you can see the the sky through there just a little bit and that kind of bugs me it, it, it loses the effect of a big canopy of, of tree. So that's why I'm, I'm going through. You can barely see through the, 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 the top here and it's, it's much harder to see through the, the flat piece. And so I just need to put a bunch more, oh, there it's all rendered. Um, you can definitely see over here, you can see through the leaves where you can't over here nearly as well. So I need to go ahead and put a couple layers of, of leaves all the way on the inside. I don't want to fill this up entirely. 
you know, I, I could fill it up entirely. I've got the builder. I could I could do that. And, you know, I might just because it's quick and easy. Uh, it should ignore everything that's currently here and just fill that in. You know, I, I may do that just for letting this run overnight or days <laughs> and, and, and see if that works. But, but for now, uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, avoid that. I, I may just do some manually. Let's zip back down here. Zip. All right, so we got the heads in place and uh, showed off the getting that. Oh, um, if you want your heads, I think I started and then got distracted. If you want any heads up there in the Hall of Heads, uh, all you need to do is send me a private message with your Minecraft in-game in name and I'll stick you up there. And there's a bunch of really cool looking heads up here. So I'll give you a little pause so you can recognize yourself and going, yay, it's me. Say, yay, it's you. And I, I still need to figure out who disappeared. Uh, but I'll, I'll check. It may be in my inventory someplace. But uh, anyway, um, so that and showed off the the stuff leaves oh 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 i've got three dragon eggs here now and so why would i need dragon eggs well what can i use dragon eggs for let's take a quick look absolutely nothing but let's go over here into this area i have here some grid power Pieces. It says solar panel, but they're lying. These are the dragon egg uh, grid power what's-its. And you can see I've got 80 that I'm generating and I'm using 20 currently. So uh, do I right click you on top? Woohoo! <laughs> this is generating 500 our uh, grid power. So there's 1500 more grid power from these guys. Yay, that's why I wanted these. So now I can start playing with screens and not worry about how much uh, grid power I'm, I'm using at this point, which is very, very nice. And that is thanks to Toddy the Body. Uh, he has figured out how to make uh, a multitude of these. But I'm not going to explain it. You're going to have to check out to his channel and, and see if he explains it there. It's pretty cool. Uh, off to spawn again because I want to get me some dye and let's move that there alrighty so let's get some dye since I'm here at spawn Zoom. and I love the the meteorator 9000 that's what I've been using to feed my botania gormorellis flower let's come over here okay I've got those and those and those uh, one of you and 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 you and you all right There so I grabbed ten of them because I've got squid I've got bone meal I've got lapis and I've got the cocoa and and the cactus so I don't need oh Did I get the red? Yeah, I, I've got poppies, so I don't need those but the rest of them are very handy to have and so I, I do want to have those I want to recreate my my poor sheep farm so this is mighty spiffy this is techno jocks uh, latest video so go ahead and take a look in the description and uh, see what he did to make that happen and since we're here let's go wander over by his base and take a quick gander at what he's done he's done some fantastic work over there and let's show it off Plop. all right so there's mine and i think you understand why i put the oak on mine because i knew for a long time i wanted to do a tree so let's go to techno jock space he decided to go with just a screen instead of anything else Oof. And here we are at Technojox's base. So if we take a quick look here, he is Ziggurat Central. He's got four ziggurats here. And this one is the one that connects to his mining dimension. And I love the use of the chisel and bits. 
he's gone through and just smoothed off the edges here plus he's got a little bit of overgrowth going on with the the grass which looks really really cool he's got some sneaky entrances right here i thought it was right there uh he's changed it but he's also got sneaky things up here Boop. there's one of those yeah come on okay, there we go he's got one of those uh ender elevators hooked up there there you can see it right there and so you can up down so that's really cool and this is where he's been doing a lot of his work as far as getting the dies and uh, the stuff working so here's storage for dies and a little bit further zoop he's been i want to go this direction yes this is where his kill chamber where he's been killing off squid and skeletons for the bone meal and also golems he's been killing off the golems and he's got this really cool setup here so that it will generate the the these or it'll turn on these uh three or whichever however many he needs them of these spawners to generate the the stuff he needs you know the the red dye the, the the bone meal the 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 black ink for the squids only when he needs it which is mighty mighty nice it's nice to uh, not swamp the server with the uh, continual work if possible now let's come over here so that's the mining dimension portal and he's got it at 81 because that's a, a good height for it and i love the the use of all the jungle wood around here which looks very cool over here is the nether portal and i could swear he had an entrance right here he must have uh, taken it out did you move yep yep he must have taken it out oh nope nope right here and it opens up which is pretty cool so the some little bit of work in here you can see the the uh, sneaky way of getting in well, let's go up and take a look at this ziggurat because this one being nether linked had a problem and we zip around the back kaboom <laughs> it had a big problem here so it exploded uh I, I like the 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 look of that over the the ravine here which uh he was saying he had long had this idea and finally sent me a message saying yay this ziggurat's all done with the explodey and this ziggurat is getting ready for blood magic he's got everything laid out for that with, but no altar yet and this is where he figured out that the elevators work through these single layer of chisels so down here is where he's been doing a lot of his psi magic and he's being infested by endermen well a chisel and bits enderman <laughs> it looks really cool uh but he's been doing a lot of work down here a lot of uh his his psi academy uh, jed psi academy was was done down here is that a one square <laughs> it is it's a teeny little smeltery but you know that's all you really need how much does it hold two stat two pieces so that that certainly works and you can see it's all ready for a bunch of uh, blood magic work but uh, it's not happened yet and this last one i decided to say because this looks really really cool you know he, he chewed up the the ground here to give the effect of this island levitating up and i love that and the last time i was here he had just done that i didn't want to show that off but uh, this looks fantastic up here a second uh, blood magic altar getting ready and anything inside oh yep there's some stuff in here so we got root stuff this he showed off a little while ago he was sending some of the the mobs through so that he could stand here and kill them uh, so he could uh, get things going that way and i really do like the the magma blocks they are a pretty good block for killing off any mob uh, even pigmen that are immune to fire uh, they they die landing on those magma blocks some gp power uh, maybe if he uh, you know talks to toddy maybe he'll get some some uh, dragon eggs so yep some good good stuff going on here let's go out of here so yeah i think we got some <laughs> now i know what happened to the head <laughs> yeah, okay now i know hey there's the head Alrighty, let's go back to here yep there we go 
Well, great. Now you don't have to recreate the head. I know where it went. <laughs> okay, dokie. So, uh, totally unexpected. But yeah, we've got uh, the, the tree is done. That frees me up to do a whole bunch of other work, which is great. Um, we've got dye, which is good. Get my sheep back. And heads. Plenty of heads and gobs and gobs of GP power for Ender Utilities stuff. And now that I've got unlimited power, pretty much, because 1500 is far more than I've been using, I need to take a look a little bit more into what I can make with some of those, those machines. I think I may do that. Or Botania. Not sure. Anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here on the FTOG Avant 3 server, just dying to get ahead. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.